हेलो हाय गुड इवनिंग राजेंद्र गुड इवनिंग सर गुड इवनिंग सर ओके सो इफ आई एम ऑडिबल करेक्टली एंड प्रिसाइसली देन वी कैन स्टार्ट विद द इंटरव्यू राइट यस सर श्योर ऑडिबल सर ओके ग्रेट सो लेट्स स्टार्ट विद अ ब्रीफ इंट्रोडक्शन ऑफ योर्स टेल मी अबाउट यू सर माय नेम इज गजेंद्र सिंह आई बिलोंग टू अलवर अलवर डिस्ट्रिक्ट इन द स्टेट ऑफ राजस्थान I have completed my schooling and graduation in uh, BTEC from my hometown. Thereafter, I have worked uh, at Central Excise Inspector for over and a half year. Currently, I am working as Income Tax Inspector in Income Tax Department, Chennai, for last five and a half year. So, where where are you posted right now? Sir, I am posted in Chennai, Tamil Nadu. Chennai, great. So, uh. you know coming from north india you are uh, from alwar right so yes, and now you are settled in chennai so what kind of differences do you see in your uh, day to day life uh, so uh, uh, staying in south india uh, it's almost uh, we are staying in a metro so it's quite similar the lifestyle is quite similar the language is different the food habits are different as as well as, well as work culture in the government department is uh, quite different as compared to north india it's more like a private private organization the deadlines are there which is uh, followed strictly okay so uh, what what is the reason behind uh, such a difference uh, particularly uh, you talked about the kind of You know, atmosphere or work culture that prevails. Okay. So I'm another question. Okay. Ah, uh, so I'll join in later. Ah, uh, asking Shilpa, ma'am, to continue. Okay. Hello, Gajender. Hey, good morning, ma'am. हाँ ग्रीविंग सो यू आर फ्रॉम राजस्थान यस मैम अलवर से अलवर से तो व्हाट इज सो सो मच स्पेशल अबाउट भरतपुर मैम सॉरी आई एम अनएबल टू रिकॉल यू हैव नॉट बीन देयर नो मैम ओके सो यू बिलोंग टू जात जात कैटेगरी जात कास्ट राइट Right. Yeah. So, do you think reservation has really helped? Uh, it has helped in a. Uh, it has uh, allowed the community to grow, man. Uh, like reservation in government service, education institution okay. also. Okay, I see you love cooking. So, what do you cook? I'm usually North Indian food, sir, because I stay in uh, South Indian, uh, South Indian state. We are finding it affordable. Mm -hmm. North Indian food is a little difficult, so I mm -hmm. mostly cook North Indian foods like chapati, vegetables, and dosa. So mainly North Indian food. Yeah. No. Okay. Do you don't love like uh, South Indian food? Is it? I do like uh, South Indian food, man. Like I prepare dosa myself, uttam and dosa. So you you do cook South Indian too, right? Yes, yes, ma'am. Okay, so I see that you also love novel reading. What kind of novels do you read, and who is your favorite novelist? Ma'am, usually I pick uh, fictional, like uh, Paul Coelho. I have read, uh, I have read Paul Coelho novel, but uh, for some time I'm unable to uh, devote time to novel reading, novel reading due to mm -hmm. commitment and family commitment. Okay, short story reading too. You have mentioned. Yes, ma'am. So, who is your favorite author? Indian author. I'm unable to recall it. Okay, no problem. So, you read newspapers. So, can you tell some of the uh, two events from recent times which was in news? Then the uh, draft data protection bill is uh, being approved by the cabinet and it's being put into the um, uh, coming monsoon session. 
and uh, so what is the issue with governor of tamil nadu man <clears throat> friction between governor and uh, state uh, administration is uh, going on uh, do you think there is an uh, there is no need of governor governor's institution at current point uh, man should it be removed deciding the constitution uh, institution of governor uh, will be uh, will not be that beneficial as we required uh, the central authority in the state government also to align uh, the state interest with the center uh, central interest also however the uh, governor should uh, remain within the boundaries that set by the supreme court and uh, various judicial pronouncements okay okay thank you and that's it from my end Okay. Okay. Hello, Gajendra. Good morning, sir. Yeah. Good evening. So good evening. you have mentioned that you conduct search and seizure operations as well. Yes, sir. For your department, right? So can you tell yes. me the provisions on in CRPC which pertain to search and seizure? Sir, uh, we mostly dealt with the uh, income tax. So, um, no, 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 but there is a. there are certain provisions for search and seizure in crpc which are followed across the board you know all the departments follow them you are not aware yeah. of that i'm i'm not aware of that okay so you have been an inspector in both income tax as well as excise uh, now since, central excise now this is uh, right now known as gst okay right so can you differentiate i mean what were how were your experiences and about the role of the inspector in an income tax department or you know in the central excise Uh, so both pertains to taxation matters, and uh, the job is also quite similar. As uh, we are working, the we are working in the assessment, uh, in the excise also, and the same we are doing in income tax also. Now the differences, and let us talk about. Uh, so uh, if we talk about differences, GST usually pertains to the uh, indirect taxes, and. Uh, Now uh, income tax pertains to the direct taxes, and the uh, the act is also uh, quite different. No, let us focus on the work atmosphere, the you know, the working environment, or you know, the interface which is available with the private sector, with the people at large. Those things I I want to know. Sorry, sir. Thank let you. us try to focus upon the you know relationship between income tax and private sector. You know, central excise and private sector. you know that part i want to know how income tax deals with private sector private establishment and how you know the central excise deals with private sector is there any difference sir so, uh, almost uh, they are similar only does the provision does the provision differs what the, type of provisions in, uh, so like tds and tcs are there uh, tds and tcs are there in income tax while uh, gst has input tax credit Okay, tell me what are the various rates under GST? Uh, so zero percent. Uh, first is zero percent. We have some uh, commodity, uh, some of the commodities which are basic, which are caters to the basic needs. No, just tell me the rates first. Okay, so rates are uh, zero, five percent, twelve percent, eighteen percent, and twenty-eight percent. Okay, now tell me any two, three items that you know immediately come to your mind for eighteen percent bracket. The common items that I must be aware of. Uh, so the uh, mobile handset, AC uh, AC restaurant, dining in AC restaurant. What else? Any anything more practical and more relevant in day to day life? Sorry, I can call this. Okay, you mentioned that you have read Paulo Silo. Paul Coelho, sir. Paul Coelho. Okay. so that is how you pronounce it i stand corrected which book did you read last mm, quite long sir you don't remember a book okay you also read newspapers so which newspapers precisely do you read every day so most of the hindu the hindu can you tell me the editor of the hindu and who was the founder of the hindu sir uh, kasturi ganjal pardon 
Kasturi Ranjan. Kasturi Ranjan. Which year was it? Uh, was the Hindu founded? Uh, I'm unable to recall the exact date, but it was around 19, like late 20. Okay. So, Gadeem, you are you know performing roles of an inspector. Yes. Can you imagine a system in India where the inspections are conducted online completely? Yes, sir. How do we reach there? And what are the challenges that will, you know, we'll have to face? Uh, sir, like uh, income tax department, we are having the assessment. Uh, most of the uh, assessments are being conducted now in the faceless mode. We are the, we are the taxpayer and tax authority do not interact with each other. Uh, basic assessment units are there. Similarly, uh, faceless appeals are also faceless appeals are also there. So these are the various ways uh, in which uh, these uh, assessments. No, let us now focus on the challenges, which you must be aware that you know there must be some teething areas which will come as a roadblock when we go for complete online inspections. Uh, so the uh, first thing is. Uh, uh, Okay. So have you heard about Mission Karm Yogi? Yes, sir. So tell us what you know about it. Uh, sir, it is a uh, it is a mission board program where uh, the aim is to uh, upgrade the cap upgrade the capabilities, knowledge uh, system of the persons who are working in the government department, so they can uh, like uh, fulfill their potential and uh, uh, upgrade. Right. So upgrade there was a recent Mission Karm Yogi I Got platform. Have you heard about it? No, you have not heard. So you have attended any training program under Mission Karm Yogi, have you? No. Okay, right. So my last question to you shall be, what are the yes. pension schemes in India for unorganized sector? Uh, so the one is uh, conducted by EPFO, Employee Pension Scheme. No, I'm asking about the unorganized sector. Okay, an organized sector. Uh, so the usually EPFO is uh, refer EPFO caters to the organized, uh, unorganized sector. Are you sure about it? What is the difference between organized and unorganized sector? The organized sector uh, usually uh, uh, employees are on the payroll. The companies are uh, registered and usually have their, uh, their some, they have social ben uh, social benefits uh, applicable to them. So don't you think these provisions are applicable to the employees who are covered under EPFO? Yes, sir. So then does it become an organized or unorganized sector? Okay, fair enough. So those were my questions. Rahul, sir, please. Okay, Gajendra. So uh, you are doing a fantastic job currently. What will you get if you, uh, what is your benefit in joining ESIC? Uh, so currently I'm working at uh, pay level seven. So working at ESIC is a uh, better career opportunity for me, but it will allow me to do some uh, interaction for the society. In how many years will, you will be promoted to IRS? Mm, so it take approx uh, 15 to 20 years. Okay. So, uh, besides, uh, you know, the pay scale, do you think uh, there is any other benefit that you will get out of joining this service? Yeah, so I will, there is uh, a lot I of social like... prestige also associated with income tax department. If you tell anyone okay. that you are from income tax, everybody will, you know, appreciate, they will like to be friends with you. But if you tell them, I am working with ESIC, who cares? It is about poor people. Nobody will no really care nobody is concerned about esic yes sir. Uh, so usually esic allows, allows me to work for it it allows me a diversified field for the last seven years i'm working in tactician field it allowed me to work uh, it allows me to work in a social sector field and uh, apart from that uh, the cafe progress and in income tax uh, in esic is much better as compared to uh, income tax.
okay let's say if, if there is a worker who is working in a factory uh, yes, he is having a wife and three children and now suddenly uh, you know some mishap is happening in the factory and he loses his uh, limbs now obviously he can't work so in that in this scenario uh, what are the benefits that he can get from various kind of social security services and various kind of uh, government schemes that are in place tell me how will you, how you will help him if he comes to you uh, sir esic it is a, uh, there is a provision of total disability benefit if he uh, if uh, he has uh, his, uh, he has lost his limbs and he is uh, totally disabled then uh, he is uh, eligible for uh, disability uh, total disability benefit which is 90% of the wages on monthly basis any other benefit or schemes that you can recommend to him if he is a, uh, if he is a member of uh, pm jeevan jyoti uh, jeevan jyoti yojana he can avail that one also so what are the conditions uh, who can join this pm jeevan jyoti scheme that you mentioned so any uh, any person who is having a uh, uh, aadhar account and uh, pays uh, premium regularly on year annual basis uh, what are the benefits uh, so it is uh, accidental ben- accidental benefits are there i am unable to recall the exact nature of benefits 